Welcome to Home Brewing with Mr. Beer. Hello, I'm Peter Garapy, Customer Service Manager at Mr. Beer. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make great tasting beer with your new Mr. Beer home brewing system. Let's get started. Your Mr. Beer home brewing system includes a two gallon keg fermenter, a lid, a spigot assembly, yeast, a packet of no rinse cleanser, and a can of hopped malt extract. Most kits also come with eight plastic bottles and caps. If your kit did not include bottles, you'll need to collect enough bottles and caps to hold 256 ounces of beer. Any bottle that previously held a carbonated beverage will work great. In addition, you'll also need a can opener, a three quart pot, a metal spoon, two gallons of refrigerated water, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, a plate, and some white granulated sugar. To make the brewing process even easier, you may also want a whisk, a rubber spatula, a flashlight, and a funnel. Now that you have everything to start brewing, it's time to assemble your keg. Put the washer on the spigot with the beveled edge facing out, like this. And then, insert it into the keg and attach the nut from the inside. It's always a good idea to test your keg for leaks. Fill it halfway with water. And put it on a dry surface while we move on to sanitizing. Sanitizing is important because it kills bacteria and wild yeast that can cause off flavors in your beer. Make sure your work area and you are clean before you begin. To sanitize your equipment, first fill the keg with lukewarm water to the four quart mark on the back of the keg. Then sprinkle in half a packet of no rinse cleanser. Stir until the powder is fully dissolved. Then screw on the lid. Once dissolved, your sanitizing solution is ready to use. Sanitize your keg by sloshing it around and flipping it over so no surface goes untouched. Don't worry if some of the solution leaks from the ventilation notches built into the mouth of the keg. They're there to allow CO2 to vent during fermentation. Now it's time to sanitize your equipment. First, sanitize your plate so you've got a spot to rest your clean utensils. Sanitize the utensils by putting them in the keg. then sloshing them around to make sure all the surfaces of the utensils get sanitized. Once done, remove the utensils and place them on your clean plate. Finally, empty the remainder of the solution from the keg. There is no need to rinse. Once the no rinse cleanser has been dissolved, it turns into hydrogen peroxide which sanitizes your equipment. After that, it continues to break down into a simple combination of water and minerals which are non-toxic and healthy for the yeast. Now it's time to brew. Brewing is the process of combining hopped malt extract with yeast and water. The yeast eats the sugars in the malt and produces alcohol and carbon dioxide. Remove the yeast packet from under the lid of the can and put the can into a container of hot water to make the extract easier to pour in the next step. Pour approximately four cups of water into the pot and bring it to a boil. 
Once it's boiling, turn off the heat. Now, open the bottom of the can of hopped malt extract with your can opener. And pour the malt into the hot water. Pour slowly and stir constantly until the malt is fully dissolved. Get as much malt out of the can as possible. This is where a spatula really comes in handy. Next, fill your keg to the four quart mark with refrigerated water. I'm using spring water, but you can use tap water. Don't use distilled water, as it doesn't contain minerals necessary to keep your yeast healthy. Now, carefully pour your mixture of hot water and malt into the keg. Top off the keg to the 8.5 quart mark with more refrigerated water. Once the keg is full, stir vigorously to mix well. The mixture of unfermented beer in your keg is known as wort. Finally, sprinkle your yeast onto the surface of the wort and close the lid. Store your keg in a dark place with a steady temperature between 68 and 76 degrees Fahrenheit to begin fermentation. It's crucial to ferment your beer at the correct temperature. Too cold, your beer won't ferment. Too hot, and your yeast will make off flavors. By now, I'm sure you're curious if fermentation is happening. After a few days, shine a flashlight into the keg. It should look like the yeast is having a party in there. Sediment littering the bottom of the keg, yeast bodies lounging on the surface of the liquid, and a hazy appearance to the beer. It'll take about two weeks for your beer to completely ferment. Don't open the lid. I know it's hard, but be patient. Your beer will likely be ready to bottle in about two weeks, but you want to test it to be sure. First, inspect your beer visually. Using your flashlight, look into the keg. If your beer is still fermenting, the liquid will look milky. But if fermentation is complete, light will penetrate the liquid and the surface of your beer will have no or very few remaining yeast colonies. To be doubly sure fermentation is complete, taste a small amount of your beer. If it tastes sweet, Wait another day or two and then test it again. If it tastes like flat beer, you're ready to bottle. You need to sanitize your bottles first. Empty the remainder of your no rinse cleanser into one gallon of lukewarm water. And shake it until it's fully dissolved. Once the solution is ready, fill each bottle about halfway Cap it Then shake it so that the solution coats the inside of the bottle When you've sanitized all the bottles, empty them into the sink. Remember, no need to rinse. To carbonate your beer, add two and a half teaspoons of sugar to each one liter bottle. If you have different sized bottles, be sure to refer to your instructions. The yeast remaining in your beer will eat the sugar and in turn create CO2, or as it's better known, carbonation. Once you've added sugar to each bottle, fill the bottles from the keg to about one and a half inches from the lip. Make sure to hold them at an angle to reduce aeration. Cap the bottles, then invert them a few times. Be 
sure to store your bottles in a cool, dark place. It'll take about a week to carbonate your beer, but I recommend two weeks to ensure full carbonation. And now's the perfect time to wash your equipment so you don't end up with dried up gunk in your keg. Remember to wash with clear liquid hand soap and a soft cloth. You'll be able to tell when your beer is ready by feeling the bottle. When the beer is fully carbonated, the plastic bottles will be firm to the touch. Refrigerate it overnight before drinking. Finally, it's time for you to enjoy your home-brewed beer. Congratulations, you're a home brewer. If you like, let the bottle sit in the refrigerator for a few more weeks. This is known as conditioning. You'll be surprised at just how much a little conditioning can do to improve your beer's taste. Your new Mr. Beer brewing systems are totally reusable. Mr. Beer sells the supplies you need to make even more great tasting beer. 14 different refills, dozens of advanced recipes, as well as specialty yeasts, hops, and equipment. Visit MrBeer.com today.